Why are there so many earth? Why are there so many earthquakes? Turkey and Syria earthquakes. Question. Many countries have had earthquakes, such as Turkey, Mexico, Taiwan, Turkey, Syria, Japan, etc. Does this mean anything, from an Islamic point of view? Answer. Praise be to Allah. And peace and blessings be upon the Messenger of Allah, and upon his family, companions, and those who follow his guidance. Allah is the All-Wise, all-knowing in all that he wills and decrees, and he is the All-Wise, all-knowing in all that he legislates and commands. He creates and decrees whatever signs he wills, to frighten his slaves and remind them of their obligations and duties towards him, and to warn them against associating anything in worship with him. Going against his commands and doing that which he has forbidden. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning And we sent not the signs except to warn, Al-Isra, 1759 And I did not stop sending tangible miracles which the idolaters requested, such as reviving the dead, except because I had sent them to previous nations but they rejected them. I had given Thamud a great, clear sign, namely the camel, but they rejected and so I hastened their punishment. And I do not send miracles at the hands of the messengers except as a warning for their people, so that they believe. Al-Isra, 59 We will show them our signs in the universe, and in their own selves, until it becomes manifest to them that this, the Quran, is the truth. Is it not sufficient in regard to your Lord that he is a witness over all things? Fusilat 41 53 I will show them my signs in the heavens and on earth. I will show them my signs within soul so that it will become clear to them without any doubt that this Quran is the truth without any doubt. Is it not enough for these idolaters that the Quran is true by Allah's testimony that it is from him? Who can be a greater witness than Allah? If they were seeking the truth they would have sufficed with the testimony of their Lord. Fusilat, 53 Say, he has power to send torment on you from above or from under your feet, or to cover you with confusion in party strife, and make you to taste the violence of one another. Allen AAM 6 hours 65 minutes Say to them, O Messenger, Allah is the one able to send upon you a punishment that will come to you from above, such as stones, thunderbolts and floods, or that will come to you from below. Such as earthquakes and sinking into the ground. He can also cause disunity between your hearts, making each person follow their desire and making you fight one another. Think, O Messenger, about how I explain to them the evidence in various ways, so that they realize that what you have brought to them is the truth and what they have is false. al 65 Al-Bukhari narrated in his Sahih from Jabir Ibn Abd Allah, may Allah be pleased with him, that when the ayah, interpretation of the meaning, say, He has power to send torment on you from above, was revealed, the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Audubai Wajika, I seek refuge in your face. Or from under your feet, he said, Audubai Wajika, I seek refuge in your face. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5193 Abu el-Sheikh al-Isbahani narrated from Mujahid concerning the tafsir of this ayah, say, he has power to send torment on you from above. This means, al saiha the shout or tumult, stones and strong wind, or from under your feet, means, earthquakes and being swallowed up by the earth. Undoubtedly the earthquakes that are happening these days are among the signs which Allah uses to frighten his slaves. All the earthquakes and other things which happen and cause harm and injury to people are because of shirk and sins, as Allah says, interpretation of the meanings. And whatever of misfortune befalls you, it is because of what your hands have earned. And he pardons much, Al-Shura 42 30. Whatever difficulty afflicts you, O people, in yourselves and your wealth it is because of the sins that your hands earned. Allah overlooks many of them and does not take you to task for them. 30. Whatever of good reaches you, is from Allah, but whatever of evil befalls you, is from yourself, Al-Nisa, 4 hours 79 minutes. O humankind, any good that pleases you, such as wealth or children, is from Allah. He has sent it to you through his grace. Whatever bad occurs to you in respect of your wealth or children is from your own self because of the sins you commit. I have sent you, O Prophet, as a messenger to all people to communicate to them the message of your Lord. Allah is enough of a witness to the truth of what you communicate from him, because of the evidences and proof he has given you. And Nisa, 79. And Allah said concerning the nations of the past. So we punished each, of them, for his sins, of them were some on whom we sent Hasib, a violent wind with shower of stones, as on the people of Lut, Lot. And of them were some who were overtaken by Asaya, torment awful cry, as Thamud or Shuab's people, and of them were some whom we caused the earth to swallow, as Karun, Korah. And of them were some whom we drowned, as the people of No, Noah, or Pharaoh, Pharaoh, and his people. It was not Allah who wronged them, but they wronged themselves, al Ankabut 29 colon 40. So I seized each one of those mentioned above with my destructive punishment. Amongst them were the people of Lot on whom I sent down stones of baked clay. Amongst them were the people of Sali and the people of Shuab who were overcome by a sudden blast. 
Amongst them was Karen whom I sunk into the earth together with his property. Amongst them were the people of Noah and Pharaoh and Haman whom I destroyed by drowning. It was not Allah who wronged them by destroying them for no sin, but they wronged themselves by committing sin and thus were deserving of the punishment. al ankabud 40. What Muslims and others who are accountable and of sound mind must do is repent to Allah, adhere firmly to his religion and avoid all that he has forbidden of shirk and sin. So that they may be safe and attain salvation from all evils in this world and the next, and so that Allah will ward off from them all harm, and bless them with all good. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning and if the people of the towns had believed and had the taqwa, piety, certainly, we should have opened for them blessings from the heaven and the earth, but they belied, the messengers. So we took them, with punishment, for what they used to earn, polytheism and crimes. al Raf 7 hours 96 minutes. If the people of the towns and cities which Allah sent his messengers to had believed in what their messengers brought them, and had been mindful of their Lord, leaving their disbelief and disobedience and following his commands, then Allah would have opened the doors of goodness upon them in every way, but they did not believe and were not mindful of him. Instead they rejected what their prophets came with. So Allah overtook them with the punishment suddenly because of what they had earned through their sins and disobedience. al Raf 96 And Allah says concerning the people of the book, interpretation of the meaning. And if only they had acted according to the Torah, Torah, the Injil, Gospel, and what has, now, been sent down to them from their Lord, the Quran, they would surely have gotten provision from above them and from underneath their feet, al Ma'ida 5 hours 66 minutes. If the Jews had practiced what was in the Torah, and the Christians practiced what was in the Gospel, and if all of them had practiced what was revealed to them in the Quran, then I would have made the means of provision easy for them by sending down rain and growing vegetation. From amongst the people of the Scripture are those who are moderate and firm on the truth. But the actions of many of them are evil, because they do not have faith in what was brought by Muhammad, peace be upon him. al 66 And Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning did the people of the towns then feel secure against the coming of our punishment by night while they were asleep? Or, did the people of the towns then feel secure against the coming of our punishment in the forenoon while they were playing? Did they then feel secure against the plan of Allah? None feel secure from the plan of Allah except the people who are the losers. al Raf 7 97 -99. So do the people who reject the truth in these cities feel safe from the punishment of Allah overcoming them in the night while they are sleeping? Or do they feel safe from the punishment of Allah overcoming them during the day, mid-morning, while they are amusing themselves forgetfully, busy with the life of this world? Look at the blessings Allah has given them of strength and abundance, how he gave them as a means of testing them. Do these people who reject the truth among the people of these cities feel safe from Allah's plan and his faultless arrangement of things? No one feels safe from Allah's plan except a people who are lost. Yet those who are successful fear his planning. They do not become amazed and proud because of what Allah has given to them, but rather see his generosity to them and are thankful to him. al Raf 97-99 al alama ibn al qayyim may Allah have mercy on him, said, Allah sometimes gives the earth permission to breathe, which is when major earthquakes happen. This makes people feel scared, so they repent, give up sins, pray to Allah and feel regret, for their sins. When there had been an earthquake, some of the Salaf said, Your Lord is warning you. When Medina was struck by an earthquake, Umar ibn al khattab may Allah be pleased with you, addressed the people and said, If there is another earthquake, I will not stay here with you. And there are many similar reports from the Salaf. Our response when there is an earthquake or some other sign such as an eclipse, strong winds or floods, should be to hasten to repent to Allah and pray to Him for safety. And to remember Him much and seek His forgiveness, as the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon Him, said when there was an eclipse. If you see anything like that, hasten to remember Him, call on Him and seek His forgiveness. Part of an agreed-upon hadith narrated by al-Bukhari, 2.30, and Muslim, 2.628. It is also must to have, recommended, encouraged, to show compassion to the poor and needy, and to give charity to them, because the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. Show mercy, you will be shown mercy. Narrated by Imam Ahmad, 2.165. Those who are merciful will be shown mercy by the most merciful. Have mercy on those who are on earth, and the one who is in heaven will show mercy to you. Narrated by Abu Dawood, 13285, Al-Tirmidhi, 643. Whoever does not show mercy will not be shown mercy. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 575, Muslim, 41809. It was reported that when there was an earthquake, Umar ibn Abd al-Aziz, may Allah have mercy on him, would write to his governors telling them to give in charity. One of the things which will help to keep people safe and sound is if the authorities impose an immediate crackdown on the foolish elements in society. Forcing them to behave and applying the laws of sharia to them, enjoining what is good and forbidding what is evil. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning 
the believers, men and women, are aliyah, helpers, supporters, friends, protectors, of one another. They enjoin, on the people, al-maruf, i.e. Islamic monotheism and all that Islam orders one to do, and forbid, people, from al munkar i.e. polytheism and disbelief of all kinds. And all that Islam has forbidden, they perform as salah, ikamatas salah, and give the zakah, and obey Allah and His Messenger. Allah will have His mercy on them. Surely, Allah is Almighty, all-wise, al taba 9 hours 71 minutes. The believers, men and women, are helpers to one another, because of the faith that unites them. They command good, which is everything loved by Allah, represented by the various forms of obedience. Such as accepting His oneness in the ritual prayer, and they prohibit evil, which is everything hated by Allah. And include sins such as disbelief and dealing in usury in financial transactions. They perform the ritual prayer in a complete manner, and they obey Allah and His Messenger. People with these praiseworthy qualities will receive Allah's mercy. Allah is mighty and nothing can overcome Him. He is wise in His creating, handling of matters and establishment of laws. At Taba, 71. Verily, Allah will help those who help His cause. Truly, Allah is all strong, almighty. Those, Muslim rulers, who, if we give them power in the land, they, enjoin ikamatas salah, i.e. to perform the five compulsory congregational salah, prayers, the males and mosques. To pay the zakah and they enjoin al-maruf, i.e. Islamic monotheism and all that Islam orders one to do, and forbid al-munkar, i.e. disbelief. Polytheism and all that Islam has forbidden, i.e. they make the Quran as the law of their country in all the spheres of life. And with Allah rests the end of, all, matters, of creatures. Al-Hajj 22,40-41 Those whom the disbelievers unjustly exiled from their homes, not due to any crime they committed but because they said, Our Lord is Allah, we have no Lord besides Him. Had Allah not legislated for the prophets and believers fighting against their enemies, they would have invaded the places of worship, destroying the monasteries of the monks, Christian churches, Jewish synagogues, and the mosques of the Muslims which have been made for prayer and in which the Muslims remember Allah abundantly. Allah will help those who help His religion and prophet. Allah has power to help whoever helps his religion and is mighty, with nobody able to overcome him. These people who have been promised help are those who, if I were to establish on earth by helping them against their enemies, would perform prayer in the most perfect manner. Give zakat of their wealth, command what the sacred law has commanded and forbid what it has forbidden. To Allah alone is where matters return, with respect to reward and punishment. Al-Hajj, 40-41 And whosoever fears Allah and keeps his duty to him, he will make a way for him to get out, from every difficulty and he will provide him from, sources, he never could imagine. And whosoever puts his trust in Allah, then he will suffice him. Al-Talik 65 2-3 And whoever is mindful of Allah by fulfilling his commands and refraining from the things he has not allowed, Allah will create an exit for him from every difficulty and worry. And he will provide for him in ways he did not even imagine, nor had ever thought of. Whoever relies on Allah in his matters, he will be sufficient for him. Indeed, Allah will make his decision come to pass, nothing makes him incapable nor does he miss anything. He has appointed a fixed time for everything, so the severity and ease both have fixed times, they are never permanent on the human. At Talak 2-3 And there are many ayat on this topic. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Whoever meets the need of his brother, Allah will meet his needs. Agreed upon, Al-Bukhari, 398, Muslim, 4 1996. And he, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Whoever relieves a believer of some of the distress of this world, Allah will relieve him of some of the distress of the day of resurrection. Whoever makes things easier for one who is suffering hardship, Allah will make things easier for him in this world and in the hereafter. Whoever conceals a Muslim's faults, Allah will conceal his faults in this world and in the hereafter. Allah will help a person so long as he helps his brother. Narrated by Muslim, 42074. And there are many ahadith on this topic. Allah is the one whom we ask to reform the affairs of all the Muslims and to bless them with proper understanding of Islam and help them to adhere steadfastly to it and repent to Allah from all their sins. We ask him to reform all those who are in authority over the Muslims' affairs and to support the truth and eradicate falsehood through them. And to help them to rule the people according to the laws of Sharia, and to protect them and all the Muslims from misguidance and temptation and the tricks of the shaitan. For he is able to do all that. May the blessings and peace of Allah be upon our Prophet Muhammad, and upon his family and companions, and those who follow them in truth until the day of resurrection. Source, Abd al-Aziz ibn, Abd Allah ibn Baz, may Allah have mercy on him.